Welcome everyone to my channel that is Fast and Easy Maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students today I am going to show you a trick with which you can divide any number by 19. Okay normally when you do the division by 19 it becomes very tedious and you end up making a lot of mistakes because remembering table of 19 is not something which everyone knows okay. So here in this case this trick is superb okay trust me you don't have to do the long division method you just have to consider certain things okay. So basically anything any number over here which you get is going to get divided by 2 and you will start with your numerator. So here what happens when you divide 7 by 2 you get what is the remainder since it is an odd number the remainder will always be 1 and here your quotient will be 3 by why because 2 into 3 gets you 6 so please understand all of these numbers over here whatever we get are going to get divided by 2 so if the number is odd straight away write the remainder as 1 if the number is even then straight away write the remainder as 0 so now what is this number 1 3 so 13 we will take this number and then divide by 2 so again it's an odd number so remainder is 1 the quotient will be 6 now this is 16 divided by 2. This is an even number. So remainder is 0. And we have 8. So 0 it can be written as just 8 divided by 2. Again 8 is an even number. So remainder is 0. We get 4. Then we have 4 divided by 2. We get again 0, 2. Then we have, I am going to continue this over here. So we have 2 divided by 2 the remainder over here and the quotient over here 0 and 1 okay so then again 1 divided by 2 gets you the remainder as 1 and the quotient as 0 so now we have 10 divided by 2 which gets you 0 and 5 then we have Then we have 5 which again divides by 2 we get the remainder as 1 and a uh, quotient as 2 and so on and so forth. So now you will be wondering that so many methods I did what is the actual way of finding the answer or what is the actual answer. The answer is nothing but see now 7 is lesser than 19 so you will start with a 0 point and this column is your answer but you are going from top to bottom so it should be 3, 6, 8, 4. 4, 2 and you have 1052 so 1052 obviously this is not something which you need in normal exams but I just wanted to show you how exact or how accurate this particular method is because if you see over here when I divide 7 by 14 look at the answer we have 0 0.36421052 so on okay so I hope you have seen how beautiful this trick is and how easy it is okay so students if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos now students please understand while explaining it takes a lot of time but trust me after you use this method for like two or three sums you can literally do this like you know in matter of seconds okay so now let's do this for next one i'm going to change a pen so here let's say if we had 22 divided by 19. Now we know that 19 onesa is 19 and we can take 19 from 22 we are left with uh, 3. So basically now we will start with 3 divided by 19. Okay so please understand this is a mixed form so it can be written as 1 plus 3 upon 19. Okay so now we will start with 3 divided by 2. Here is your remainder here is your quotient. So here we get is 1 and 1. 1, 1 divided by 2 gets you what? 1 and 5. 1, 5 divided by 2 gets you what? 1 and 7. 1, 7 divided by 2 gets you what? 1 and 8. 1, 8 divided by 2 gets you what? 0 and 9. Okay, so basically I can write this is nothing but 1 plus 0 point because 3 is again smaller than 19 so this is 1 5 7 8 9 okay 
So your final answer will be nothing but 1.15789. Okay, if you want, we can check it with the help of Calci. So let's see, this is 22 divided by 19. Okay, so answer is 1.15789 and so on and so forth. Okay, so now let's take a bigger number. Trust me, with a bigger number also, you will be able to do this very, very easily. So here, it is basically, let's say if we had to do 100 divided by 19. So this is what, 5, 19, 5 that gets you 95 and you're left with what? 5 as the remainder so we will take 5 divided by 2 this is your remainder and this is your quotient okay so remainder is 1 quotient is 1 then again 1 1 divided by 2 again 1 and 5 15 divided by 2 again 1 and 7 17 divided by 2 again 1 and 8 18 divided by 2 gets you 0 and 9 then we go 0, 9 or basically just 9 divided by 2 gets you 1 and 4, 14 divided by 2 gets you 0 and 7, then 7 divided by 2 gets you 1 and 3, right? So your answer is 5 plus 0 point 1579473 so basically answer is 5.15 then 89473 okay so students i hope you are understanding how to do de these kind of divisions in matter of seconds okay also students don't uh, <coughs> If you want me to explain why this particular trick is working, because that literally makes this video a very long video, okay? So, normally, <clears throat> most of my students are interested in tricks. They are not literally keen on how this works. If that is the case, then please let me know so in the comment section. Just mention a how or just mention a question mark, you know? So, I will understand that what you are looking for or that is the explanation which you are looking for. Then, I will make, the, make another video of that as well because that video is going to be a literally a bit longer video. So now students, like always, this is your DIY. And students, this DIY is super important because this is one trick where <coughs> you need a bit of practice. You need to remember that you're dividing by two. You need to remember you are writing your remainder first and then your quotient. If you write the other way around, then your number changes to what? Instead of 14, it will change to 41. And that is not something which you are wanting to do. That will be a literally grave mistake, okay? So now for DIY, I want you to tell me what is the answer of 44 divided by 19? Do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.